Nigga, fuck that tryna hide the bitch. Drum on a stick on the side of the bitch. Switch. Call up a lippity vibe. Pull up and let him massage the bitch. Alrighty, hello. So my job today is just to prove to you why, or not even a proof, just to show you my experience and then you can decide for yourself if this is right for you. In this game I play while watching anime, reading manga, playing other games even. It's it's a nice game that's actually fun, but it's got a lot of air cable aspects as well as stuff you have to be there for, but it's also got a world built area around people who want to be AFK. Now there also is a pay to inside, but most of these games, so like, like the good game passes actually drop, so you can actually get them as drops. You can also just trade for them, so there isn't actually any need to spend any money. I've got a few of them for free, as you can see I haven't bought all of them. Now, this game, as you can see, it may look kind of plain when you get in, right? But no, that's not the case. So there are different things you can do. You know, you can have, I'll just boost this whole public server because these guys all deserve plus two luck. Now... So, when you first start, you'll, you'll probably start in World 1. If you don't, you, I'd be very concerned. And if I was you, I'd be very happy. <laughs> but, the whole point of, well, that map part didn't load. Okay, well, that doesn't prove my point. <laughs> um, this game, you pretty much open up stars. You go and you kill these guys, right? Um, you preferably attack them with your units on, so you go equip best usually, and you just do that. I have auto attack, so as you can see, it's automatically attacking. Then you use your credits. Um, make sure that you have auto sell on anything that you don't want. So, for example, I open and I get new units, and then I'll use them. Right? There are special units that aren't on the board here, like secret and divine. Those are pretty cool. As you can see, the power difference will be insane. And some not so much. So depending on the world you go to, this game also has a bad, like a really good amount of playtime. Like 44 worlds, that's a pretty good playtime. You won't get bored of it because it's also got it's also got in three different areas here. So it's got the time chamber for all your needs of like improving your character's capabilities, incubators, like if you have time, you can actually upgrade them and make them more overpowered. Shiny machines to make them you know, I guess a little bit of a shiny buff. It's like a shiny Pokemon in the old days. Now, you also got the transfer machine where you can transfer passive that you might get. For example, leader and monster, right? There are different rarities as well. There's converter, which you can use to create the tokens required for transferring. And then there's passive machines. There's also rec room passive machines, which are over there, which is slightly more powered. And then, you know, you'll go over to here, you'll go over to here, and you'll, you know, you can auto reel. So this is all I have cable as well. You know, if you just want a token reroll, but, uh, but, uh, or you can shard your own. Now, having this many, like, I'm just doing a common unit here. And then what you can do is you can pass transfer it to your divine later, which is kind of like a nice, easy, cheap way to do it. Now, yeah, here, here it is, you know, better, better chance of getting better things. Now, there are raids that happen, which you can use to get those shards. Uh, you can also, by the, you can kill bosses to get the shard. That's another way. Or I would say the fastest way, in my personal opinion, if those raids aren't on, is you go over to not the event hub because the event hub is where i put on that plus two thing before you go to the challenge hub why the challenge hub well guess what i will tell you okay the challenge hub is kind of extraordinary because it's got one two three four right three four time trials and it's got five so you got them all in order of easiest to hardest then you also got this one which is the infinity this is just goes on for an infinite amount of time infinite amount of rewards you can collect insane you can get game passes from doing this type one so if you need you, know, you can get game passes you know people actually do fun this now yeah people will carry you and stuff like that to help you like this community is insane because they just keep carrying people and it's actually kind of scary i i always think they want some but no. um now if you guys do need anything any items wise to since you made it this far, just contact me and I can give you some stuff. Uh, just make sure you have the trading pass, which you do time trial. You get the little shards and then you buy it for about, I think it's just a thousand. So yeah, 1k. And then I can even just give you shards to buy the other uh, stuff in there. Uh, apart from that, there's also dungeons in the corner here, which to host. These are your artifacts, by the way. You can proceed them and stuff to make more of a power. You do a, you know, you do a dungeon, you go public. And then da da da. Feel free to do my dungeon. Ready? And you know you can be like me and just host free dungeons with people too. Um. Also put a plus two. 
Ah, anyway, so you can also just go around here. These cost three tickets. The three tickets you get daily, so you don't have to worry your scam from spinning and stuff. Now, I want to show you what a raid looks like. This is a perfect example. I don't actually have to wait. I can show what a raid looks like. Imagine, you can do most of this like AFK, but this is just a playing side of the game. Most of the AFK, I'll show you in a right after I've done this. Uh, you can watch, you can, I just watch anime, it's literally well fun in this. Um, so yeah, it is weirdly insane. Love that. Alrighty. Now, right over here, okay, you can use mounts as well. There are mounts, there are money boosts. You get, there's like quests and stuff that you can do and you get mounts for it and stuff. So there's a lot of different ways to get different things. Oh, right, hold up. Draw, draw. Okay, now let's equip our best units and then, yep, okay, now this will be easier. So, pretty much, yep, my whole team's like goaded as all hell, but I should definitely get some better bow. 100% with you, but, but my friend, yes, 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 there it is, our boat. There it is, our boat, our boat, our boat. With these enemies, sometimes you have to run all the way down here, and sometimes it can get pretty lengthy, but the rewards in the end, which I will show you, are gonna be nothing less than insane now there are damage perks that you can use to make yourself stronger i prefer to use super damage but don't be afraid to just use normal damage sometimes it's more worth it to do that because you know what's the point of using over stuff now while it does cost a lot to buy these normally these are all farmable by dungeons or these boosts so trading them the trading value isn't too high fragments are also farmable via there and if you need some you can just contact me and i can Fragments are valued highly in the trading community, with green, purple being most expensive currently, I believe. Because it it goes directly with the use that to craft the luck artifact, and the luck artifact, you know, everyone wants luck, everyone wants to get better uh not well it doesn't give you better jobs, everyone wants better units, and that just helps just like Yeah, that just helps that a whole lot bro. Anyway, so right now, well, pretty much it's just more on the end of this type of raid. It's just gone back and forth. I understand it can be pretty annoying, but the first time or the second time or the first 10 times, it's pretty fun. Especially since you can do this in a public and help other people while doing it, or you can get carried while doing it. Whoops, we just fell off the map. I'm not very smart. Now, <laughs> as you kind of guess, it's the One Piece map thing. As you can see, it's Large Mum, or otherwise known as Big Mum. Okay, it's big mom. No. Yeah. What what can you do, I guess? What can she do, bro? She's just a massive target. I said it. Anyway. Uh got my die. Die so I control the rewards. All right, as you can see, she's on the last of her legs, okay? She's dying. No happy no more. But, buddy, buddy, buckarowski, buckarowski. 22. Now, that's 22 different rerolls. You can get all the way up to 90 if it's a massive or large raid. Okay, so it all depends on that. Um, now, the AFK side of things, I'm going to do this still for, which is the highest of Ireland, as as possible. So they added this, especially for people who don't want to spend money in the game. Auto max opens. This will automatically open up. Um, for me, it opens up lightly over 2,000 people. It pretty much opens up everything in inventory. And then if you have you want auto sell the inventory doesn't actually max up. And it's a max open, it'll open up 200. And, no. and then if you have an auto max open, it'll keep opening up. And I and I've like selling on everything, so I'll only receive divines, won't receive anything else. 
and that is the beautiful thing so if you want to do that there you know auto sell and then if you want to auto lock you can also auto lock now with auto sell you can go passives and you can turn it off on some passives uh sadly not all the passives are there but you know whatever you can get right now yeah so if you just want to farm that you can it's perfectly a cable okay perfectly a cable that's what a lot of people do to get better units they do it in a lot of violence now you do defenses by the way so defenses are these little icons in the map for example sorcerer web and they allow you to do defenses in exchange for defense token they give you defense so you use the defense um token which looks like this okay and you get defense credits uh in return for killing enemies and you get a lot of them at least currently so i don't i'd recommend selling as soon as you can see these multi-open they go multi-open tokens you have an infinite amount of those you, know, you just do this and then you just do the thing uh so i thought it was a play i was gonna wanted to go on um but yeah you can just do that and you can host the thing if you need any defense tokens again tell me i can give you them well uh because yeah i just have a large amount you can also create characters and wear their skins for extra buffs that's another beautiful side of the game you know i prefer rin because you know it allows my star opening to go faster and afking a lot easier with higher luck or if you just want to go all in on luck you can just go for two to know anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you later and goodbye